Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be working on a steam engine. It'll be the first time I've ever built a steam engine, but it's going to be a working steam engine. And if it works well enough, I might even use it to drive something with, uh, to power something. If not, it'll just be a model working steam engine. Uh, my plans are, I mean, I've already started throwing a few things together. This is going to be my flywheel with the connecting rod to my piston. This will be the piston. There's threads on here which fit nicely in this piece of tubing, just tight enough to make a good seal. And it'll run in and out of there like that. And then down here, I'm going to put a tank to put my water in so I can heat my water in it. The tank will be up off the board so high and then I can just put me a little uh, candle or something under it to heat the water with to create steam. Then it'll, it'll just be t piped over to this tube so that it can run up through here and force steam into the piston area, the cylinder. And this is the exhaust. I'm going to use this little deal here. There's going to be a valve that will open and close right here as this um, cycles in and out. Okay. I've got a little work done to it. Um, first off, you probably noticed the tank I got. It's one of my old mini Heineken cans. This is going to be my water tank, my steam tank. Uh, then I've got my valve here to open and close the steam pressure. And the plumbing up to the tank. I'm going to come out of the tank here somewhere. Uh, pipe it into there. Some of this may or may not be temporary. If it works out the way it is, I might keep it um, right now. Everything's working well. It, it looks loose, but there's threads on the end of this. That was actually an old carriage bolt that I cut off. The end of it is stuck down in there where the threads with threads on it. And those threads act just like a the the rings on a piston. The piston rings. Uh, they're sealing that hole just tight enough to um, be able to contain the the pressure to push it forward. But on the other hand since it's a thread, it allows enough air to come all the way through it to uh, um, keep oil or whatever in the area. I'm going to use probably a little bit of grease because it's heavier than oil and it'll stay in there instead of just running out. Uh, probably won't even need it, but it'll help with the wear because I mean this thing won't last forever you can hear the wear on it right there but um, it, I'll show you later in a test that it seals plenty good enough to work so here comes my help the big big boy but uh, once I get me a valve figured out here which is probably going to be my toughest part of the project. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little test here with air pressure. Air and steam both work the same way. Right here is where I'm going to have a valve, but until I do that, I'm going to have to use my finger to open and close it. But we should get an idea of how it works. So let's see here. I can get it going if I do it right. Almost had her. 
Just like that. I believe it's going to work once I get steam going. I'm going to take me right under the, right underneath there, I'll set me a fire in a little dish. I'll have a little candle fire or something. And I'll fill this about a third of the way full of water. And as it builds up steam in here, it'll be forced down the tube, through this valve, through the T here, up into the cylinder to push the piston. And then I'll have another linkage coming back to the valve here to open and close it so I don't have to use my finger. But that's how it'll work.